So he's really well known for these portraits of models in these really nice outback locations and for the picture style itself it has a lot of fade in the blacks, always has a lot of green and moody look which is very desaturated. The model is almost always in focus even when there is a great looking interesting backdrop. It's also a little more on the underexposed side but the model is given a very glowy feeling often from being backlit at sunset. It's a real contrast between the moodiness of the landscape and the beauty of the model and then the beauty of the landscape again. And from watching Sam's videos I believe he uses the Canon 1DX and has two go-to lenses which are the Canon 35mm Mark II and the Sigma 20mm 1.4 Art and these allow him to achieve a pretty shallow depth of field which also adds to the dreamy moody look and he's obviously very good at posing his models so let's get into Lightroom and see what we can do. So in Lightroom now and this is the image we're going to be working with and I have chosen this image here as my reference photo as it has a lot of greens, has the blues and is a very common Sam Elkins image. Our image is going to be a little darker, has a lot more greens, no blues but I'll edit the photo as if it does have those colours. So getting into it straight away we'll work from top to bottom. His images uh, on the cooler side so not overly warm uh, and then they're definitely not overexposed either a little bit of contrast drop the highlights up the shadows a lot whites Now we will be dropping the blacks. A lot of people want to lift the blacks because they want to get a faded look but we actually want to drop the blacks to create more dark space and then the, and then the fade will happen in the curves. So we're going to drop it by quite a bit. Clarity needs to come down a lot. Very desaturated image. Now curves is where most of it will happen. I do my curves a little differently to everyone else. I'm sure a lot of people do it like this but I like to use three points instead of two. I always get a better result with it with all my LUTs. And moving on to the colors space, uh, a lot of these colors aren't going to be able to be seen, so I'll edit them as if there is say blue in the image. And this is just going to be affecting her shirt. And there's a few little flowers in the background. But I might keep it right up. Saturation, very important. Bringing most things right down, especially the greens. shirt now about that will do and the luminance our image is looking pretty dull at the moment so the luminance is really gonna pop it a 
So most things are coming up. Um, doesn't really matter. Bring it blows up because we will be adding some of those into the highlights and shadows. Purple, looking at the shirt, bring it down a tad. Keep it high. Right, split toning. So he has quite a cool image, in my opinion. So I'm going to be adding some blues into highlights and shadows. Some of his images are a bit warmer, I think. Sharpening, don't need sharpening. I like grain, but you got to be careful with grain as grain won't look very good in blacks if there's too much. It'll look, it'll just look like noise. So maybe 15. And that's it for uh, all of those but now we will be adding back in that clarity that we took out earlier so if you remember we dropped clarity by about 30 and now we're going to bring it back up oh, just on her face Have a look at our reference. So our one's our one's looking a little darker, but it is a darker image. But I think we're on the right track. And then we'll just add some light direction. The side needs needs a uh, dehaze. And maybe a bit more on the other side. And then you can have one coming from the bottom. might want to go dark on this one bringing your eye up towards her face and that's about it's almost there and now do a little brushing just where the light naturally hits her hair we want to make those bits a little brighter and also just on the inside is that will really guide your eye nicely in and maybe desaturate it bring it up some more Just making it look natural. It's maybe a bit too much, but uh, we'll go with that. And this is when you'd maybe do some retouching on her face, but that doesn't really look like 
there needs to be any on this image uh, we'll, we'll give a rather large sharpening to the center of the image not clarity and you could you could you could do quite a bit of dodging and burning on her face to really bring her face out with a uh, contrast but but otherwise we're looking very good could take it into Photoshop as that's better for sharpening and retouching but I think we are pretty much done guys and if this video happens to get a lot of likes and comments I'll be doing plenty more of them so make sure you comment down below and like the video and let me know who it is you want me to have a go at replicating their styles and thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one